Hi guys, today we're going to make sand, colored sand so that you can make sand art. There's lots of different things you can do with sand art. We'll do that in um, videos to come. But today we're going to learn how to take this plain white sand. This is just playground sand, sandbox sand, and we are going to turn them into these pretty colors. So, all you need today is sand, and you need the white sand. You need sand, you need food coloring, and I will say this, you need the liquid. Don't get the gel because the gel does not turn out well. It works, but it does not turn out as well. You want the, any kind of liquid, so either the big, you know, the liquid food coloring. Um, any color will do. Um, you can put them in bottles like this for little kids um, or you can do like I did and put it in a jar. Um, I have a lot of these um, just these canning jars that I use for different things so um, so that you also want some bowls I like these because I can just throw them away um, but any kind of bowl is fine and you need a funnel or you can take some paper and make a funnel out of the paper so let's get started with making our sand colored sand it's really really easy okay so I have already put sand let's get all this out of the way I've already put sand in these bowls. I'm just going to take it. Alright, now this is, like I said, this is just sandbox sand. And there is little, little pieces of stuff in here. You can take those out if it bothers you. Little pieces of shell or rock. Um, you can take those out. Whoops. Y'all can't see what I'm looking at, can you? Okay. You want to take your... Let's do pink. Take your stuff. Use a fork. I'm using a plastic fork because, like I said, I like to be able to throw them away. And I'm just going to put a few drops in there. it up. I like to use a fork because you can mash that around. Um, the gel does not work well because it gets goopy. And it's it it's very difficult. It works. You can do it, um, but it's just it doesn't. It's it's a lot stickier. Um, I'll show you what it, I did some earlier because I've never used the gel before, and I tried it, and I it just did not work out as good. You just want to mix it up. Give it the color that you want. I think uh, we need some more. Put some more in it. Oh. Well, that's just it all in there. I think that's all done. Grandma needs to get some more. Oh, that's pretty. There are a lot of things that you can do with this colored sand. If you went to the store and bought this stuff, it can be pricey. And you only get a little bit. And um, you can get all kinds of jars. Uh, I'll tell you what really looks cute is the jar, like your um, salsa jars. They're usually a different shape. I think that's a different color. I mean, a different color. A different shape. I save all kinds of cool little jars. Or you can, we can, um, 
in another video we'll make pictures so we can do some sand art it's, it's good you can just make this in advance and then pull it out later all right so that looks pretty all right so there's i guess that's kind of like a purple um i'll do a blue you can put as much in it or as little it's just like cookies it's going to be either darker darker light depending let's say cookies icing you do want to use the white play sand if you're using yellow it's gonna obviously not be as true a color you can use a, a spoon too I just think that it it seems to work better with the fork because you can kind of mash it around I hope you see this I'm not even looking yeah you can see it <laughs> pretty Um, I have seen where people use salt. If you use salt um, to color, to uh, it's shiny. A lot of people uh, I've seen where they call it like glitter. It's not really glitter, but it's shinier. But I'm using what I had. I had sand and food coloring. There are a lot of different ways that, a, little, a lot of different things you can use. Okay, let's see. Um, let's use this yellow. I don't know what this yellow is going to look like in here. I don't like green. I don't know. Let's see. That looks green. That's green. That's not yellow. The top was yellow. See? That's not right. It's not a neon. I guess it's a neon color. Because that's what I did with that. And that's that green color right there. I think we're going to put some more in there. Make it bright. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, like I said, you can use any color. Doesn't matter. It's your sand. Your colored sand. And the kids can do this. It's not going to hurt. You just might want to do it outside so you don't get sand everywhere. You can also, in fact, um, We'll do it in this next one. Hold on. Let's get this one stirred up. Show you a different way you can mix it. And you can let the kids do it. What? I'm going to mess. Alright, that's really pretty. Alright, let's do this other way. Ziploc bag. Get a Ziploc bag. Put the sand. In the Ziploc bag. Now this would be really good for the little ones. And what color did I not do? Let's use red. And just put the Food coloring in there. Make sure you get it getting sealed. And just let them mush it around. There you 
go. Do that and the little ones can mix it up. That's really pretty. It's another way you can throw it away. Alright, I'm going to like that. Alright, so we have green and red and purple and blue. Alright, now you can take it and you can put them in the, in the bottles for the kids. Um, Take off that. Another thing you do, they, they can help put the funnel, the funnel in the bottle. Make sure you can see all this. And pour the sand into the bottle. Alright, now you could just do that. And get those little bottles would be good and just let the kids play with that it's more kind of like of a sensory thing you can hear it um that's simple you can do that or you can let them create sand art just get a jar or a bottle you can do this you can do this in the bottle too um I'm not going to fill this whole thing up. If you wanted to fill this whole thing up and make sand art in the bottle, you're going to want to make sure that the sand is filled all the way to the very, very top. And I'm talking all the way to the very top because if not, it will get all, it'll get displaced and make a mess. All right, so let's see. Let's put some blue in the bottom. Here, let's do this. Let's do it in this one so you can see better. There we go. Put some glue in there. Oh! You know what? I think actually putting it in the bag would be even better because some of this is not... I think, I think that I think it is better putting it in the bag in this look like bag. All right, get some in the bottom. There's some blue in there, and then let's see. Let's put some green in there. You can layer it and just layer it and that's it. Or you can take a knife or a straw or a stick and make it make patterns. Let's push it down. Let them do it however they want. I'm just, I'm not doing any kind of anything. I'm just putting it in there. And some purple. I'll do that to the side. And maybe some more blue. Probably should use the funnel, but. <laughs>
pack it good. And then put the lid on it. There you go. We got pretty. You can do any kind of design or anything. They can write their name on it. Um, think you can put seashells in it. You can put little critters in it. You can put Shopkins in it. Um, but that's so pretty and it's so easy to do. Um, but this is this is one thing. Um, I gotta show you. I did this on the bot and that just messing around. Um, but those are those are two things you can do with this colored sand and uh, we will have some more sand art another day. Oh, I was going to show you. This is what happens when with when you use the gel. It just um, it just did not turn out as as well. I don't even know where that yellow. Oh, this is the gel. This was this was that. Um, and I put it in the oven to see if I could get it to dry, and it did okay. Uh, you can use it, um, but it just wasn't, the color isn't as good, and it just didn't turn out as well. But, and I did have to put it in the oven to get it to dry. As you can see, if you do it this way, um, it's dry. It's not going to, it's not going to get on them. The sand soaks it up. So, I hope you've enjoyed our sand art for the day, and I hope you will come back for more sand art with Grandma.